electricity, water, gas, three services that many New Yorkers would find it hard to live without. Over the past 18 months, those services were protected for those in financial hardship. And with many people working and learning from home, the pandemic shined a light on another service that is hard to live without, high-speed internet or broadband. Even pre-pandemic, access to broadband in New York has been an issue for years. Former Governor Andrew Cuomo even tried to kick one of the largest internet service providers, Spectrum, out of the state when the company was slow to expand internet access across New York. That's something the company agreed to do when it bought Time Warner Cable a few years back. That's gotten better, but thousands of New Yorkers still don't have access to broadband. And with how vital it's become to everyday life, some say it should be regulated as a utility, like gas and electric. Richard Berkeley leads the Public Utility Law Project. In New York, we need two kinds of availability of broadband. First is actual retail availability, and we call that physical access. The other is affordability, and that's social access, but that also requires for the fairly large number of households in New York that don't have any kind of broadband, they need to have the devices and they need to have the knowledge. For New York's rural communities, access continues to be an issue because the infrastructure just isn't there, and the cost to build out that infrastructure isn't cheap. Senator Peter Oberacher is from Otsego County. He is the top Republican on the Internet and Technology Committee. And he's seen firsthand how building out broadband can be near impossible for those without access. The nine counties that I represent in the 51st are, are very rural. And so the challenge is really is the topography, is, is the distance between homes. Now, here's the, here's the interesting part. I don't have it at my house. It's a mile from my house. And to get it there, we were inquiring about it, and it was, uh, it was north of uh, $50,000 to get it to come to my house. The state has claimed that 98% of households in New York have access to broadband, but that number can be misleading. It comes from the FCC, which measures data by census block. And because of how it's collected, that data doesn't reflect access to broadband on a house-by-house -house level. Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara is a Democrat from the Albany area who chairs the State Commission on Rural Resources. Our mapping in New York State is not good. It's, it goes by census block. It's a very old way of identifying who has service and who doesn't. So census blocks are very, very large. As you can imagine, in rural communities, that's very problematic. So anywhere from 240 to 1,200 homes uh, in a census block. And the way the methodology is, is even if one home out of there, one home is served, they consider that census block to have service. That's obviously not true. And access to broadband can be even worse for older generations. That was the case during the pandemic when a lot of everyday life shifted online. Bill Ferris from AARP says that created a digital gap between seniors and the services they need. There's studies out there in New York that's, that say that 40 percent of older New Yorkers, 65 and older, don't have access to the internet. And uh, that's a problem, especially with the increasing of the use of telehealth that we have seen during the pandemic, both uh, for federal programs and state health uh, care programs. Access to the internet is actually becoming essential here in New York, especially for the people we represent. But access to broadband isn't just an issue in New York's rural communities. It's also a problem in New York City's. Stuart Reed from the Harlem-based Digital Divide Partners works on providing access to people who live in public housing. He says that availability does not necessarily equal access. Of those half a million people, a full 50 percent do not have Internet access at home. And that is compounded by the fact that 50 percent of the population is unemployed and the average, popula uh, average income of this group is at the poverty level just hovering above $25,000. Reed says it would go a long way if there were free, universal internet access in public housing. But for rural New Yorkers, there's more to consider, like the infrastructure issue and the cost for providers. Senator Daphne Jordan represents a district in the capital region that has urban, suburban, and rural areas. And she says broadband expansion faces several hurdles, like something called the fiber optic tax. Because now, under New York state law, they have to pay for the, uh, the right of way along the roads for which their, their broadband expansion is going to run. No other utility has to do that. 
just place that on broadband provider. It's like one of those cheap money grabs. One solution, Jordan says, would be to issue tax credits to residents and businesses who have to pay providers to expand service into their area. But Oberacher, the senator from Otsego, says there's also a disconnect for some lawmakers between how access to broadband varies in rural areas versus cities. He says he'd like to bring other members of the Senate to his district to show them why it's different. And then that would lead for us to also educate bringing in uh, private industry, bringing in the actual suppliers and, and the same thing and having that dialogue. But there could also be a common solution to help both rural and urban areas with broadband access, and that's funding. Here's Berkeley again. New York built the Erie Canal, the largest public-private project of its day, the most successful one ever built. So the Erie Canal was so successful and it was a combination of private and public money that even before it was finished, it had to be bigger to meet the needs of the state and New York opened the West because of the Erie Canal. So I think we can do this kind of thing right. I think it's a shame that we have to, you know, toss public money into this. But if we do this, then, you know, we will get the outcome that we need.